My name is Kathy Bittner and I'm a business developer at Canon. Today I'd like to introduce you to a fantastic presentation from our latest Canon Future Promotion Forum. Isla Monroe, Managing Director of Dragonfly, presents how brands can maximize the revenues with direct mail. So some great tips there, check them out. Hello, I'm talking to you today about maximizing your direct marketing in print. The advancement in high-speed digital print has delivered brand new opportunities to creatives who are designing direct mail. Combining both personalization and production flexibility, marketeers can now integrate printed direct mail to enhance the performance of their digital marketing channels. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to talk to you about maximizing your direct marketing and print from an agency perspective. The presentation will hopefully give you the insights from our agency on how to leverage the latest digital printing technology developments for your next direct marketing campaign. First up, I'd like to give you a very quick introduction to Dragonfly. We are a UK and South African based direct marketing agency, and we've been experts in direct mail for 10 years now. Over our 10 years, we have sent out over 2.5 billion mail items. And that's been everything from letters, your traditional letter into an envelope, to parcels containing branded dog bandanas. We love absolutely everything about DM. We love helping our clients grow. We love testing and innovating. We love learning. We love the creative flair. We love paper stocks and inks finishes. And we love our clients and our suppliers. But you might be sitting there thinking, what is direct mail? Well, the craft of direct mail is just like any other marketing channel. It's about speaking to the right people at the right time with the right message. There's no surprise then that direct mail is the third largest media channel in the UK after TV and digital, worth an estimated 1.7 billion pounds annually. I always like to think of direct mail, which is the mail that you receive through your letterbox, door drops, inserts that come out of magazines or newspapers, um, direct mail packs, just like big brands are using that as a method, it's just like how we use it as individuals to communicate with our friends and our family. We will have WhatsApp messages we send to people daily to keep in touch, we'll have emails, we'll have social media platforms, and we'll have birthday cards and thank you cards. The companies that we're working with are doing exactly the same as this, just on a much bigger level. It all takes a lot of clever planning. You've got to make sure that you set your goals, you target your audience, you use your data cleverly, you establish the message and the tone of voice, you communicate your offer, you create a powerful call to action, and you make sure the design of what the pack looks like is really on brand. What we're going to talk about today is about how direct mail has changed considerably over the years. And the old school spray and pray where people used to send out lots of mail packs and hope that one would stick has significantly changed. And what we're creating sending now is highly targeted and hyper-personalised mail that can be tracked. And what's hugely exciting is that high-speed digital inkjet is really helping to drive this agenda. We all know that COVID has changed the world and it too has brought some positives. In the last year alone, in a recent poll of print readers, they were asked, has the direct mail you received changed since the start of the pandemic? And nearly a quarter, 24%, said the mail they now receive is more targeted. So let's talk direct mail. We're all about engaging the future customer. And as a DM agency, we work very simply. As an extension of our client's team and our suppliers are very much our colleagues. We work on a brief addressing the objectives, the KPIs, the learnings that we've had from previous campaigns. We look at previous creative and importantly, what other media channels will be running alongside this campaign. We agree a budget and a time scale, and then we present our ideas back to our client. Direct mail is all about technology and innovation. And then in the next few slides, I want to address why this is so important right now and how this presents opportunities for you. So first up, a very, very brief marketing history. In the 1400s, the printing presses were invented. In the 1800s, we saw news and newspapers and press come into the market. In the 1920s was radio adverts. In the 50s was TV adverts. In the 80s was database marketing, which in total brought with it direct mail. In the 90s was the boom of e-commerce and the internet. In the noughties was social media and digital. And then in the UK in 2018, we saw GDPR, which really presented an opportunity of what the future meant for mail. So what we know is that marketing's changed. And what we know now is that 
we know more than people than ever before. So the customer of today understands when they are being marketed to. And whilst they like to buy, they generally don't like to be sold to. So they like to be in control like never before. As marketeers, we really need to respect that. And then we need to sell to them. But this needs to be subtle, targeted, and most importantly, relevant. The doorstep clutter of the 90s and the early noughties has been replaced by clutter of the inbox. And direct mail volumes have fallen by 30% whilst we're receiving up to 120 emails per day. As such, it's imperative that we treat our customers as individuals, making sure we communicate with them on a channel that they want and giving them messages that are highly relevant. This is what we call hyper-personalization. So I've mentioned direct mail volumes have fallen by 30% since 1990. However, this is good news. I've mentioned the days of yesterday when Spray and Pray was the name of the direct mail game and large run litho print jobs were mailed out in the hope that one would stick. Unpersonalized mail did not deliver. In fact, dare I say it, it gave the industry a bad name and dare I say the words junk mail. But now as a direct marketing agency, we are not just chucking stuff out for the sake of it. We are delivering crafty and clever marketing and we are working with our suppliers and our printers who may raise their eyebrows now and ask why we're mailing less, when in fact what we're mailing is smaller, but way more targeted. And that is what's stacking up in the long run. A good supplier of ours is now not judged just on the commodity of print, but on the ROI and the response of the mail pieces that they're helping us to produce. Furthermore, the silver lining of COVID means more people are at home, which means that they've been interacting with mail more than ever. Interestingly, 57% of people claim that receiving mail makes them feel more, more, volu more valued. We can use um, the JIC Mail data, which is the Joint Industry Committee for Mail, which has been running since 2017 and measures what people do with their mail in the UK. It's like Barbara Nielsen do with reporting of TV ratings. What we found from the Q2 2020 report, is, which covered the first UK national lockdown, is record-breaking double-digit increases in the effectiveness of direct mail and door drops. 96% of mail was engaged with. The average business mail pack, which is highly personalised with people's personal information, is seen by 1.16 people. So think about that for a second. If you mailed a million recipients, an additional 160,000 people would see that mail pack just by the nature of it being shared in the home. Interestingly, 70% of the UK say that they feel that they receive too many emails. There is a huge, exciting opportunity for us to use mail as part of that marketing mix and to really build on that omni-channel success. The great thing about mail is that it works wonderfully with email and it drives people to go online. And what we're constantly wanting to do is close that customer journey and provide that user experience. The average lifespan of direct mail piece is 17 days versus the average lifespan of an email, which is a mere two seconds. Whilst email works well for some situations, there are others where direct mail is much more suited and effective. Interestingly, 57% of abandoned email addresses are because people feel they receive too many emails. And within that, there is an opportunity to link into mail. We use direct mail for brochures and catalogues, welcome packs, bills, statements, loyalties and rewards and reminders. Whereas we can use emails for quick replies on issues and complaints, news and updates, confirmations, follow-up messages, or other products and services. It's reported that 88% of the UK adults are spending 24 hours every week online. So how much of that time is spent offline? And remember, the process of creating a piece of direct mail is very similar to that of email. Utilizing the right methods, automating the processes, and agreeing SLAs we can have mail easily turned around within 24 or 48 hours and on the doormats within 72 hours. It then has the potential to stay in the house for up to 17 days. Imagine the potential that has and the impact to your brand. It's safe to say then that print offers hyper-personalised, customer-centric communications. And because we know more about our target customers than ever before, this leverage needs to be transformed to relevant communications and needs to take into account customer behavior and programmatic activity. For us, it's about the theory of relevance. By creating relevance, we create a way to engage with a customer. And to create relevance, we need to understand our target audience.
Possibly the most important aspect of any campaign is the right data. And with so much available, the trick is finding the best and most reliable data and then profiling and modelling it to ensure its relevance. All kinds of new modelling technology are available, cost effective, and can ensure that you're not wasting money targeting people who will never buy. That's the key word, target the right people, with messages and offers that are appropriate to them. For us, it's not just about the data, but it's about the creative as well, and how to maximise what print technology we have available. Variable data technology allows us to take data and create a different message, image, emotion from every individual. That way you can make your direct marketing as relevant as possible. And here are a couple of quick examples of what we've done. This was for a high-end insurance company in the UK who used personalization to drive cross-sell across three audiences. You'll see on this slide here that there's three different individuals who were all being sent um, home insurance but we were able to upsell to them car insurance, trailer insurance, and pony insurance. Each mail pack was able to provide a different image, a different personalized message, and drive that relevance. From changing it from a standard direct mail pack, which was higher mail volumes, as you'll see here at 99,832, to lower, more personalized mail volumes of 47,921, we're able to drive higher results and response rates, a way better ROI, and the revenue generated by the company was over double. A lot of the planning that we do up front in our marketing campaigns is what pays off in the long, long run. Using your data to set up smart marketing allows you to communicate with your audience daily, weekly, monthly. Programmatic Mail also enables you to do that as quickly as possible. This is an example of a birthday card that we provided for members of a zoo and each birthday card included a voucher for them to enjoy a free hot drink or a beverage the next time they visit the cafe. To give the members flexibility, the voucher was valid for six months. And what was very impressive with this campaign is that we saw an average upsell per member through the voucher redemption of £21 per person. So what we know and what I hope you've seen in this presentation is that you can maximise your direct marketing and print. As a result of receiving direct mail, we know that people go on to download something, engage in social media more, connect with businesses more, are influenced to make an online purchase, are driven to online or digital activity. What we're constantly trying to do is close that customer loop. We're wanting everything to create an action, and we know that personalisation drives and delivers that relevance, which delivers our results. The inkjet capabilities are amazing and are helping to drive the agenda in an omni-channel marketing campaigns and are allowing us to engage the future customer via print. Thank you very, very much for your time just now. If you've got any questions, I would be very delighted to answer them. Thank you.